a vibrant and colorful morning to you all my dear children chandni views welcomes you all for the online class lesson number 4 on our topic is our school sub topic is school building that is in our school we are going to see about school building chandni views it is the name of our school Hi children how are you hope you are all fine with your good health my name is rahul do you remember me you would have seen me in your school in today's class we can see about our school building are you ready children Let's see now. Before going to the subject, let's see the kindergarten rhyme about the school. Sing along with me. Go 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 to school, go to school every day. Sing 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 the rhyme, sing the rhymes loudly. Enjoy the rhyme. Then sing along with me. Go 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 to school, go to school every day. Sing 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 the rhymes, sing the rhymes loudly. Read 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 the books, read the books happily. Write 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 the words, write the words neatly. Play play. Play the games, play the games joyfully. Go, go, go to school, go to school every day. Hope you enjoyed singing with me. Children, do you know your school name? Your school name is Chandni Views School. Okay, now we can go to the subject. Are you ready to listen? Listen carefully. Introduction. A school is an education institution designed to provide learning spaces and learning environments for the teaching of students under the direction of teachers. Most countries have systems of formal education which is sometimes compulsory. In these systems students progress through a series of schools our school a school is an educational environment where children go to learn from a teacher such as reading writing and mathematics or central to education most of a student's time is spent in a classroom this is where 10 to 30 people sit to take part in education discussion a school is an education institution designed to provide learning spaces and learning environments for the teaching of students under the direction of teachers most countries have systems of formal education which is sometimes compulsory So school is the place where you are learning a education and lot of knowledge is able to be grown there under the guidance of the teachers so teachers are the 
one who is molding you and shaping you with education discipline things general knowledge moral values etc so all the countries they are educating through the school system the system may differ in various countries but education is compulsory for all the children's why we need to go to school we go to school for getting knowledge and to be in discipline cooperative with others learn many new things respect for elders and others and also to be punch well so what for we are going to school to learn educate ourselves to be disciplined and to be close uh, closely friendly with everyone respecting our elders and others and also to be punctual why we need to go to school there are many reasons we go to school the main reason we attend school is to gain the skills and education needed to live at home namely and successfully yes so the main attention is to gain the knowledge and the skills and with the knowledge and skills we gain we will be shaping our own life in a successful manner schools also teach us social skills we will need in our future lives and careers yes so after the school you will be going to college after the college you will be going to jobs so life need certain skills to be followed for that the school will be a platform for you to learn all the obstacles and all the things that you have to face in the future lives it also prepare you mentally and physically suit for the future careers public education teaches us how to collaborate effectively with others so in school we are being friendly with each and every one and school is the place where you can communicate with a lots of people from different backgrounds so it helps you to develop your social skills and also makes you mold and and shape and and make you to react to the situation all these comes from the social skills it a good habit to learn from an early age but being on time is also important for a child so the child need to take their education from the early stage of their life that is they can they should be joined in the school after 3 and of years or 4 years so it is the correct time for them to take a education knowledge from the social skills it helps them settle into the school day well with everybody else it helps them to make and keep friends it improves their self confidence to so going to school will be more useful for the children it will be useful for them to develop their skills and cultures and also it builds a very good self confidence it reminds them to live in a socio friendly environment things we learn in school students entering first grade are expected to have an understanding and knowledge of basic skills in language parts math science and social studies this will help them expand on those skills and gain new ones quickly and easily so what are the things we are learning yes while the child is going to first standard they will be studying kgs that is the kg session is used to improve their own skills on language parts mathematics science and social they also learn how to write a word by using the combination of letters they are they are able to read write and they also able to study on their 
own sometimes so going to school and learning the subjects will help them to improvise their own skills and also they can easily learn the new things quickly we can learn basic study skill the, so the main reason is to improve our study skill we can know how to manage time yes in school all will be done in a particular systematic manner that is for example at 9 o'clock if the school starts each period carries 30 minutes and for break there will be 15 minutes and for lunch break there will be half an hour and again at 3 or 4 o'clock the school comes to an end so the school follows a time system throughout the day so while you are following that periods and times in a regular interval it helps you to manage the time we can learn how to practice self care so school is the, a place where you where you use care taking care of yourself so in home mom or dad or grandparents will take care of you but in school you are the one who take care of yourself how to navigate the healthcare system and health habits it also teaches how to take our healthcare system in a regular terms and the health habits in a correct way things we learn in school we can learn how to be unity so school is the place where we are we are um, we used to sit together in a such a large group for example a classroom may contains nearly 30 students in one class so it helps you to build a unity among yourself we can learn how to face any problem so if we are we are troubling we are going on some problem ma'am or our colleagues will help us to overcome so we are learning how to face the problems we can learn how to be disciplined last and finally the main thing is that we learn how to make a friendship and how to be a good friend yes we are learning all the disciplinary activities moral activities moral values etc the the most thing is that we are making a friendship with our friends and it will, school will be a best example for the platform of creating friendship and you will also learn how to be a good friend to your besties things we do in school so what are the things we sorry things we need in school so what are the things we need while we are going to school we need lunch box sharp pens highlighters eraser pencils sharpener pencils ballpoint pens pencil pouch notebooks and graph papers so this may be a uh, differ from standard to standard so the kids like kg children they no need these much of things but the higher class students they need all the things so it will differ from st standard to standard school building school building means a building housing classrooms laboratories athletic facilities or related facilities operated in connection with the school so the school building consists of classrooms lab that is known as laboratory in higher classes you may say uh, see the labs like physics lab chemistry lab biology lab computer lab so there will be labs and athletic facilities that is like sports room and other and some other rooms will be in a connection in the school building school building school rooms should be well ventilated and well painted so ventilated is that is air free the air should be free in a flow there should be a lot of air for the children to take a breath so the school the classrooms should be well ventilated and well painted so there should be a well painted rooms it should not be as a dirt rooms or ugly room if the room is 
neat and tied neat and clean then the child will loves to come to school they should look pleasant attractive and cheerful yes the school buildings and the walls should be attractive pleasant and cheerful for the children it makes the mindset of the children to love and enjoy their day in a school the height of school rooms should be about 16 or 17 feet so one classroom should be in up, up to 16 to 17 feet it will be easy for the children to get in and get out without any disturbance school building having space and natural light should be an absolute given in a school building so another requirement is that the school uh, buildings like classrooms or any other rooms should have a space for the children to accommodate and sh- there should be a natural light if there is no lightening in the class it will look dull so there should be enough space and natural lightening in the classrooms it should be welcoming and uplifting providing a sense of ownership and pride for pupils and staff so if the school building is very warm and good and attractive it will it will be providing a very good sense for all those who are working there and also for the owner of the school school building rooms should not open into one another so that students do not disturb other classes while moving in and outside the classrooms so the door should be opened in the morning and again closed in the evening it should not be opened by every time because every time the children is going out if the door gets open it will be disturbed by others who will be in this school so who are the persons in the school what what will be in the schools persons in the school rooms in the school things in the school so what are the what are the persons or materials that will be in the school things persons and rooms so first we are going to see who are all the persons they are used to stay in the school persons in the school the principal principal is the main person who takes care of all the children he used to concentrate on both administrative line and education line so vice principal vice principal will be a person who is assist for the principal She, he or she will also takes care of the academic and as well as the administration mostly the vice principal will concentrate on the administration side then the office staff so office staff is the one who guides the children uh, to go to their respective classrooms and they also will take care of mostly the administrative sides but they will be also helping the children with their various necessities then the staff staff is nothing but the teaching teachers those who are coming to you so they are taking classes for you and the non teaching staff like games games master music master drawing master they used to take care of your uh, curricular activities the students so students are nothing but you or the one who is going to take place in the school next the clerks they used to do their work by sending the uh, circulars to each and every classes and collecting the leave letters from each and every classes these are the jobs that will be done by the clerks then the janitor janitor will take care of the garden areas and and all the restroom facilities all these things will be taken care by them then the watchman he will be the one who is opening the gate and closing the gate and allowing the parents if necessary to meet with the school or their children so these are the people who will be present in the school persons in the school the principal the vice principal the office staff the staff 
the students, the clerks, the janitor and the watchman. The principal. Principal takes care of the school authorities and manages the school, teachers and staff. So, a principal is the one who is taking care of all the teachers, non-teaching staff, those who are all the students and other other persons. He is also taking care of the school authorities like both academic side and administrative side. Principal will keep meetings to the staff and the parents. So, he is the one who will be a mediator between the teachers and the parents. He used to hear the feedback from the parents and tell the teachers to act according to those needs. The principal. A person who has controlling authority or is in a leading position such as chief or headman or women. So yes, so principal is the one who has the controlling authority and they are known as the they they sustains the leading position so they are known as the chief or head the chief executive officer of an education institution so principal is the one who is the chief ex executive officer of the in educational institution principal takes care of the school authorities and manages the school teachers and staff so principal is the one who is taking care of all the school teacher and the staff and he is manages between them and the students the vice principal the vice principal's role is engrained in the school's administrative functions yes so the vice principal is the one who will be taking more care in the administrative functions they handle various administrative tasks and met with teachers to provide a better school environment so they will be always have a one thing in their mind that is the student should have get a well and disciplined education the vice principal they also handle student discipline and met with parents of students to discuss the student's behavior or address parent concern. So they will also uh, meet with the parents and they will speak about the student's point of view that is about the students that he is correct or not and he, uh, he is perform uh, about his performance, academic performance, curricular performance like that he will he or she will use to discuss with their parents and they also ask the feedback or the uh, instructions from the parents and they will also think from their parents point of view view education administrators work in school but not as a teacher so the vice principal will be working on the uh, administrative side but not as a teacher uh, other than teaching they do all the things that needed for the student the office staff schools uses the help of office staff to manage administrative duties such as answering calls and correspondence ordering supplies and handling information okay this office staff will take care of the administrative part and they are also doing the works like they will be ordering the books that is this much of books will be required for the students and they used to do answer the call they will be ordering uniforms books notebooks etc and they will also take care of the distribution that is each and every student should get with all the items that is issued by the school in a proper way so these informations and all handled by the office staff schools also rely on a friendly respect representative of the school who helps to create a positive learning environment so school is the one who is creating the positive and friendly environment for learning purposes the office staff an education administrator ensures a safe and protective learning environment for the student and faculty at their institution. So not only they are working for the students but they are also working for both the students and the teachers.
So offer stuff takes care of all the non-teaching related things like fees etc. So they will be concentrating on all the non-teaching things like collecting the fees, arranging the uh, arranging about the uniforms books like all the things will be taken care by the office staff the staff a teacher is a person who helps people to learn a teacher often works in a classroom so a teacher is the person who will be always working in the in the classroom she used to help us to learn the things Teacher teaches us all subjects, example, science, English, etc. and helps us to develop and improve our knowledge. So, teacher is the one who is teaching us all the subjects like Tamil, Maths, English, Science, etc. and she also helps us to develop and improve our knowledge. The staff there are many different kinds of teachers in the school yes so there are different uh, kinds of teachers for handling different subjects other teachers teach older children in middle junior high and high schools yes there is also a division that will be middle class junior high class and high schools so the teachers also will be working according to the position they are in the clerk common task distributed in school clerk resume examples updating student attendance record providing information to school staff writing periodic reports taking corrective measures when necessary handling correspondence arranging meetings and receiving visitors so these are the works that will be taken care by the clerk the staff a person who teaches or educates especially in a school educator instructor trainers etc so a person who is educating you instructing you and training you is known as the teacher teacher includes skills in communication listening collaboration adaptability empathy and patience so teacher is the one who is including mostly all of the skills in you the clerk perform clerical activities of a school to support principal teachers and administrative staff maintain and manage school records in an organized manner so they used to maintain it in a organized manner and they are the one who performs the activities of the school to support all each and everyone at the school campus the janitor a school janitor is responsible for the security safety repair and maintenance of a school building and grounds so i have already mentioned you janitor is the one who will be seeing the electrical issues in the school and water water issues then any if there is any maintenance that should be corrected by them so the works these works will be done by the janitor many primary schools have only one janitor a lot secondary school or college may have two or three so if the school is small they have only one janitor if the school is very uh, big or in colleges there will be two to three members the janitor one who keeps the premises of a building such as clean tends the heating system and makes monitor repairs yes they used to keep all uh, their surroundings very clean and if there is any problems they will be repairing it janitor looks after the maintenance and cleaning of our school building so janitor is the one who is maintaining the all the school matters and also the cleaning purposes a janitor or cleaner is responsible for maintaining a cleanly facility by completing a variety of cleaning tasks so he a janitor is the person who needs to keep the environment clean neat and tidy their duties include mopping and vacuuming floors cleaning surfaces 
with disinfectant and emptying trash cans or recycling bins so they are the one who have to recycle the bin and they have to trash the cans then they have to mop and clean the floor then they have to clean all the uh, windows and doors like the cleaning part will be done by the janitor the watchman a yeah, watchman is a person whose job is to guard a building or area so he, he used to do the guarding work that is he will be safeguard he, he should act as a safeguard for the building areas and the persons those who are working there a person who keeps guard over a building at night to protect it from fire vandals or thieves so he should he or she should safeguard from the thieves that they they should not allow the thief to enter the school campus or if there is any fire accident they have to go and take care of it there mostly their work will be during the night time the night watchman makes the rounds of the building every hour so for each and every hour he he used to go for a round around the school campus a watchman may spend his shift stationary at a security desk so he will be having a shift in the security desk he uses to check and send the people if they are unknown watchman will not allow any student from the school campus so while during the school time the watchman should not allow the school st- students to go outside of the campus watchman guards our school and keeps us safe inside the campus so he is the one who is keeping and and being a safeguard for us and he makes us to stay safe inside the campus rooms in the school so now we are going to see what are the rooms that is available in our school the school yard the principal office room the classroom the music room the art room the computer room the library room the restroom the staff room and the sports room so there are may various rooms in our school we are going to see those in a detail manner the school yard the area next to or surrounding a school where students typically play games or sports so the school yard is the place where all the, all the uh, rooms classrooms buildings it comes around inside the school yard that is the campus he organized a marbles tournament that could take place only in the school yard during recess a school yard or school campus is the region within the boundaries of a school used for teaching yes it is like a boundary that used for the school the the campus is known as the school yard it may be cont- the school boundaries may contain teaching extracurricular activities and other aspects of daily life at school the principal's office room the principal's office is his personal cabin where he carry out his duties as the head of the school so principal principal is known as the head of the school so he will be having a separate cabin to take care of all the things and he will be have the files etc that is needed for the school it is a centralized place from which the principal fulfills his or her administrative duties and roles with the help of clerical and other support staff so it is the centralized place for the principal madam or sir to stay inside so they will be ask the help from the clerical or the other office staff classroom a classroom or school room is a learning place in which both children and adults learn so classroom is the one we all used to accommodate in it okay it is the space where we are learning all the children and the adults they used to learn inside the classroom classrooms are found in educational institutes of all kinds so there is many educational institute of different kinds the classroom is the common one which is present in all the education institutions 
teachers teach lessons for the classes so for the students they used to teach the lesson inside the classroom the music room the music room is a spacious room with customized platform for orchestra and choir rehearsals the space is divided into a classroom area and a performance area yes so the music room is the room where we can able to rehearse ourselves with the choir and orchestra and we can also play the orchestra it is the place where we can also learn the music and also we can practice the music that we have learned for the day so the class will be divided into a performance area that is that they will be practicing there and the classroom area where they will be learning the knowledge of music it is equipped with an interactive whiteboard sound system and wi-fi for direct streaming of music and music video clips so yes it is also uh, made up of the interactive whiteboard there will be a whiteboard sound system and wi-fi for the uh, or to hear the music or to see the music video clips the art room the art room drives each child to be curious and original in their work while they study a variety of art forms such as 2d 3d art and installations by exploring mediums like acrylic charcoal water dry paste oil pastels pencil coloring clay wires paper mesh etc so yes art room is the one where the children is able to create their creativity that is they they learn how to do the things creatively and in a attractive way so the drawing makes the children to think more creatively so they can learn the 2d and 3d arts there and they also came to know about the uh, things that is used for painting such as acrylic paints a uh, charcoal then water water paintings water colorings oil pastels uh, then color pencils crayons all these things they will be came to know their uses and usage in the art room the computer room the computer lab serves as the center for teaching computer used to hold classes usually by a specialist computer teacher so computer lab will be with the number of computer system there will be projector to help the children and there will be a computer staff or teacher who helps the children to work on with the computer classroom teachers also use the lab with their classes for research or for creating technology based product projects so uh, not only the computer teacher who uses the computer lab all the ordinary teachers will also use uh, if there is any uh, they need any researchers or they need any related ppts for their lesson they will go go there and will they they will be preparing and will display you it in the classroom the library room a library is an important source of knowledge to young minds in school so library gives the knowledge to the young minds a library consists of various books reading books will make you more active and creative it develops the important habit of reading among the students every school should have a library yes so it also uh, built the habit of reading books where, which is very very good for our life so every school there should be a library is necessary the school library plays a great role in the life of students by serving as the storehouse of knowledge yes library is known as the storehouse of knowledge because our classroom in our classroom we used to study only the particular subjects and particular topics but library is a place where we can um learn or read a lot of books on various topics and we came to know lot of things in there the restroom a room that is equipped with washing and toilet facilities so restroom is nothing but you will use it for toiletry things a room with toilets in a public place can be 
referred to as a restroom a comfort station or a washroom so the rooms with the toilets in a public place uh, so the toilet room in the public place will be addressed as comfort station restroom or washroom it can also be referred to as the ladies room and the men's room so there will be a separate restroom for the ladies and the separate uh, a restroom for the men the staff room the staff room is a room that an organization provides for the use of the people who work for it so, so staff room is a room which is specially made for the staff that they can prepare their notes uh, pay pts and they can do the correction works it it is a free place for them to do their works a staff room is a common room where teachers and our school staff can relax discuss work eat drink and socialize while not in class so if there has a uh, if there has free period they can occupy themselves in the staff room for doing their own work and also they can be uh, speaking with the all the other staffs there this sports room all kinds of sport articles are there in this room so the sports things like football volleyball basketball skipping rope and what are the things that we used to play the like cricket bat these and all will be present in the sports room children take these articles in the sports period yes we have we used to have the pet period that is physical education period that is for uh, making ourselves to relax by playing games after they play their games they back all the articles in their room so after once they have finished playing with those uh, materials that sport uh, sports articles they have to go back to the room and keep their balls or the things that they have taken back in the safe place things in the classroom so now we are going to see what are the things we use in the classroom the blackboard the duster the chalk the desk the writing table the self and the notebook the blackboard so the blackboard is the one where the teacher used to give us the notes then we will be following it by writing the same the teacher writes on the board in our note it will be clear to all the child so if she is writing on the blackboard with a bold letters it will be clearly visible to all the children don't write below line of sight for the children in the back row so when the blackboard uh, if you are writing in the blackboard you should not write at the edge because the students they sit at the last row or last before two rows will not able to see the uh, end of the board so we have to write in the mostly in the upper part right from right to left if you are right handed so view is in block so if the teacher a teaching staff is a right hand right handed people he he or she has to write from the right to left of the board so uh, so they can't able to hide the board to make a point stop writing let students catch up then discuss so while writing if they have to say say a important note so they have to stop there they have to make a note and make all the if all the students clear with the note they can also again continue writing the uh, article they they have been writing on the board erase only when you have run out of space to write so if you are filled with fully have you have finished writing the board but you have some some more things to write then only you have to go for rubbing pot you should not rub it when there is a space the duster a yeah, duster is a cloth which you use for removing dust from furniture ornaments or other object so duster is the thing which you use to dust the materials that may the, the the furniture may be in dust ornaments or other objects may be in dust so for dusting out the dust we are using the duster give the counter or a clean with a soft duster so while using for blackboard in a classroom you should have a 
soft duster wipe the tables with a duster to remove all the dust so while you are wiping the table first you have to dust the duster and then you have to remove all the dust that takes place in the table wipe the table with a duster to remove all the dust dust surfaces with the damp duster to prevent dust getting into the air so after you have dusted the dust uh, that is in the blackboard you have to remove it immediately that you have to dust the duster the chalk the chalk is in white color it is made up of powder yes chalk will be in a white cylindrical like uh, cylindrical in shape and it will be a powdery substance uh, when you start writing uh, writing on the board the chalk used to be reduced and the powder comes out it is used to write in the blackboard yes uh, chalk this is a material which we use to write on the blackboard using chalk we can write bigger in the blackboard so uh, the speciality of the chalk is we can write bigger in size in the, in the blackboard the students can understand the words clearly and write neatly in their note so we, while using a chalk to write in the blackboard the students can be able to understand the words clearly what the ma'am or sir have been written on the board and they they also they will be writing on the note in a clear way the desk the desks are arranged in the middle of the classroom so it uh, it will allow the teacher to walk around the classroom freely yes in mostly the desks will be arranged in the center of the classroom there will be a gap between the desks for the teachers to go for a round the sitting of the desk will also help students to stay, stay on a task so it will uh, helps the children to stay on a place so that they can't able to move here and there unnecessarily the writing table the writing table is kept in the classroom so every writing uh, so every classroom has the writing table this table has four legs or made up of wood mostly the uh, writing desk will be made up of wood or some classrooms it will be made up of steel but it has four legs it is gray in the color of the table so the writing table will be look like a gray in color it is a re rectangular in shape yes the shape of the writing table is rectangular three to four people can sit and write on the table so in a table three people or four people can be able to sit if three people are sitting it will be more sufficient for them to accommodate the self the drawing books are kept in the shelf so where we are keeping the books we used to keep it in the shelf baskets are also kept in the shelf then dusters and chalk piece they are also used to keep in a shelf so shelf is nothing but it will be like a rack to keep all these things the notebooks the classroom no classwork note or kept in the classroom yes we have two notes like classwork note and homework note homework note we used to carry it with us but classwork note it will be submitted in the classroom the test notes are in the classroom so the test notes will also be there in the classroom when the map keeps us a cycle test or class test we will be writing on it the activity note or handwriting note or in the classroom yes so the handwriting note and the activities note it will be also it, uh, there in the classroom conclusion education makes you a better person and teaches you various skills it enhances your intellect and the ability to make rational discussions it enhances the individual growth of a person education also improves the economic growth of a country Okay students do you keep your school clean I hope you will do it Okay children do you have any doubts hope you have understood about it Okay children bye take care thank you all